Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gazbeard. Welcome back to my run through of the Wintermute Redux in the Long Dark. And we're in the uh, cabin up above the church at the back of Milton. Now, do I take that jerry can or leave it here? I'm going to leave it here for now because we're pretty overloaded already, 37 kilos. And what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully head out and down to the bridge where that broken down car was in the note that we found. And this fog is not going to help us. We're going to need to have this out. Now, fortunately, I know this map very, very well. However, I'm not familiar with the changes that they've made to it for the Wintermute Redux. So, you'll have to bear with me as I find my way through here. And already I can see some changes. These logs lying on the road are different. And I'm kind of wishing that I had a few more bits of meat with me to use as decoys. What I do want to do, not there, and a little bit further over. I want to check this pond, if it's still here. I'm going to watch because there's sometimes a wolf around here. the waterfall which sort of tells me that the pond should still be here very quick check how many sticks are we carrying 45 sticks we do not need to pick up any more sticks at all there's rabbits here if I could find some stones I just pass a couple? I did. He's off on a, a run. Come back, rabbit. Oh, his mate's coming towards us, that's good. Missed him. It's a new day, so we can afford to spend a little bit of time messing around trying to get a rabbit to give us an additional decoy. Right, so we can now drop those stones. We don't need them. We've got one rabbit. That's all we need because we can live on cattails if we have to and we have got all that other snack food with us 
The rabbit really is for decoy purposes. Right, so we managed to get a bunch of cattails and another rabbit. And if we don't have to use the rabbit as a decoy for the wolf, because there's usually a wolf hanging around here somewhere. I'm not seeing him. There he is. Speak of the devil. Oh, you ratbag. You totally walked straight past my rabbit. Let's pick my rabbit up. Get that bandage on. And infection bite with a wolf risk. Okay. Don't know where that wolf went to. Now there's an argument that by carrying that rabbit, the wo the wolf was attracted to us. He certainly ignored. There he is. Rather than risk him attacking us again, that was, and I've heard it, another wolf yelping. So, let's get a, a fire down. Crouch down beside it and put the gun away now. And he's only a little one. Let's take all of his meat. Oh, hang on. We need to get more wood on there first. strong fire going. Let's take all his meat. We're gonna need to eat soon. Tide is going to take 40 minutes. Let's get that. Twenty-seven minutes and twenty-five minutes left on there. The gut's going to take fifteen. Take his other gut. While we're waiting for him to cook, let's just have a cattail or two. Feel 
feels like a lot of gear. Oh, no. Why did it put that coffee in when it should have put the meat in? Wolf meat, there we go, one kilo. That one's 20 minutes, that one's an hour and seven. 27 minutes on the fire. Let's... Let's do that. And while we're waiting for that, so that the meat's not showing there. So let's eat that. Let's harvest that. 17 minutes to get the meat off the rabbit. That piece of meat's cooked. And the weather's cleared up beautifully. And there's another wolf across there. Terrific. So let's cook that rabbit. 38 minutes, 51 on the fire, 37 minutes there, so they'll cook at about the same time. Let's have the hide off that rabbit. some fuel on that. Might as well get rid of one of those bits of reclaimed wood now as well. We got anything left to to cook? Yeah, a little bit of rabbit there. And we might as well make some water. No. Don't know where that wolf's gone. Oh, he's away over there. He skirted us. He didn't want to come near the fire. So, let's get the gut out of that rabbit. Because I don't mind dropping a gut. But I don't want to be dropping perfectly good meat. And we need a drink. Let's eat that piece of meat, make sure our calories are good and high, speed up the cooking on that, pick up the tin, Got 30 minutes on the fire, that wolf is still over there, so what I'm going to do, come around here, take a torch, that's oh, a low condition one, damn it, um, We'll put it away. Take that torch. That's a bit better. I'm going to put it out though. Put it away. Add a few sticks onto there. Actually, I'll add a piece of reclaimed wood just to keep that wolf away. We're going to start moving out. Hey, we got a feather. Finally. The only one that was dropped, though. That wolf's going the same direction as us, it looks like. We 
which is not something I'm particularly happy about. Replenish our sticks here. Crows have turned up at our dead wolf. And my main priority is putting distance between us and the wolf that's up there. That's locked. Nothing here. Nothing in here. So what we're going to do now is get down to this bridge. Um, we can see there's nothing on the road there, so I'm just going to come up into this clearing here. Just on the off chance that maybe there's a dead deer or something up here. There's some sticks, which is useful. But apart from that, it doesn't look like there is anything here. Here crows ahead of us. Bag is getting too heavy to carry. Right, there's definitely crows flapping around over there, and that could be a dead person, or it could be a animal carcass. So we need to figure that out, and I think if we go up on the top of this rock, we may well be able to get a clue. Come on, get up. There's the bridge with all the cars. The crows appear to be over the canyon. I don't see any animals, wolves or otherwise, roaming around. So that's good news. That means... We can head over there. It's early afternoon. We'll just keep the torch handy for a minute or two. Now to find that secret stash. I 
here it is. Peanut butter, peanut butter, condensed milk, condensed milk, distress pistol flare, shell flares. Oh, what a stash! My god, that was amazing. Still no pry bar though. There's a whole bunch of cars left here. Well, let's search the trunk. We could use this. Nothing there. About to lose this torch, but we'll keep it as long as we can. Hope nobody needs this Ragged leather shoes. Oh well, we'll take them to get leather. Another cotton toque. Good God. Nothing left on that now. Nothing in there. Piece of cloth. So, searching these cars is something that you should do both in winter mute and in survival mode. That's locked. Because apart from that secret stash that the note alluded to, you find things like granola bars and God knows what else. Matches. Quite often you find notes in them that tell you about other secret stashes. So and the flare gone out. Got one more car to get to. And there's also, by the sound of it, something down in the gorge that we need to get to. And right now I'm not sure which way we're going to use to get down there. I don't know if the old route that I would have used is still open. Or if it's been shut down. Because a lot of the routes that I normally use across this map are not available in Wintermute. Now we could continue along there and use the old route to get up to the plane crash. But um, I don't think we need to go back there. Now the route that I normally use comes down into the river away up there. Oh, have we reloaded that gun? Um, well, it does seem to be cattails down there, so it's worth going all the way around. Getting quite late into the day though. We need to think about having somewhere to shelter for the night. Um, 
we're not going to get down that route. Now my main interest in going down there to check out what those crows are flapping about is because it may be a car crash, there may be a pry bar, and a pry bar is something we're desperate for, as is a hacksaw and a hunting knife. It's the three things that we're really missing right now. And it's three things that are commonly found in cars on the Milton map. So this little rise coming up through here should give us a route down onto the river unless it's been blocked off as part of the special map for Wintermute. Yeah, you see, that's been blocked off. That's um, my favourite little secret passageway on the Milton map in survival mode. There's a lovely little cave along there, which is ideal as you as a base when you're hunting the bear. And if you watch my Voyager Thousand Day attempt on YouTube, you'll see me during the bear hunt segments using that cave extensively, both as a, a sleeping base and as a cooking base. are in fine voice again. So as we wander around we collect the cattails, keep our food topped up. I'm less worried about sticks right now, but cattails would certainly be useful even though we've got that wolf meat. I don't see what these crows are flapping about. Is it just going to be somebody that's fallen off the bridge and not an actual vehicle crash? Or are they actually circling something on the bridge. I don't think they are. Oh, here we go. There's a vehicle crash. Excellent. A lot of bunnies down here as well. You got anything for us? What have we here? Blue mitts. Now those are worth keeping. The blue mitts are far warmer than red mitts. And that's three feathers that we've just got, or two feathers plus the one we got earlier. Again, no pry bar. Something in there it looks like a red scarf. It is. is this? Empty glove box. Nothing above the visors. Right, we need to get back. 
and we are heavily heavily laden now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat that kilo of wolf meat and that partial kilo of wolf meat to reduce weight take a drink we're still almost 43 kilos we've got 26 cattails on us sticks we're back up to 37 we're carrying a piece of fur as well we're getting a good collection of matches and in fact we're coming to the end of the video so we are essentially just backtracking now heading back to that cabin where we left the kerosene the jerry can of, of kerosene um, there's one more wolf on the road which may give us a, a bit of grief Um, and then we've got to get back down to Milton House and speak to Grey Mother. So what I think I'll do is I'll pause the video here, or I'll pause recording here. Thank you for watching. Uh, remind you to please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to help me grow the channel. Leave your comments and questions down below. And I'll see you in the next video, uh, by which time we should be back along at that cabin. And... I look forward to progressing the story with you in the next episode. Have a great day from me, the Gazbeard. As always, it's not goodbye, it's just bye for now.